Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm the Obscure Angel BT and usually, like all my entire vlogs, I always bring bad news but this one, this is seriously bad news, okay? So guys, you probably noticed that I've been a little bit late on delivering some benchmarks I have two reasons for that to happen, the first one, it is my job, it is consuming an insane amount of time to me to a point that when I get back to my house, I just I just don't want to benchmark anything, I just want to relax. And the second one, which is quite more seriously and sad, is my desktop my desktop just died on me. Okay, my my motherboard of my Fan 2 just died two weeks ago. I was trying out and playing a little bit, recording Outline Miami. I was completing Outline Miami with A plus stars or A plus score. I wanted to make the perfect time and I was recording to my secondary channel and it just started to malfunction and everything started to go like a snowball. It started to get worse and worse every day, every hour. My it, it started to, to crash, so I, I was expecting that it was because of the heat, because I've been really hot where I live lately, but it wasn't that, okay? Probably it helped out to damage or advance a little bit to its death, but my motherboard started to have problems, starting to have causing blue screens, crashes, and uh, to a point that the PC could no longer boot up, okay? I couldn't, I couldn't even turn on my PC. Something was really wrong, and I knew it. I was expecting that my motherboard was dying, and probably it was related with my overclock, because I had this Fanon 2X4945 at 3.6, but at stock it was at 3.0. I was expecting that it was that, but I reverted back the overclock to 3.0, and some lower values, you know, drop down the voltage to make it a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more cooler instead of being hot. But I was expecting the problem to be the CPU or something, but it was the motherboard. The motherboard started to malfunction entirely, and it was all the blame to the North Bridge. The, more, the North Bridge, it is a chip that is present on the motherboard that controls the RAM, controls the PCI Express, where you connect your graphics cards. Uh, 10 years ago, pretty much when I, when I brought this PC, this thing was included on the motherboards. Today, it is pretty much included on the CPUs, inside the CPUs. But at the time, the North Bridge was inside the motherboard and not the CPU. So, yeah, I started to have issues with RAM. I started to have issues with my PCI Express, with my graphic cards. Everything starts to malfunctioning out of nowhere to a point that the PC could no longer hold up, turned on for more than five minutes. And so I was really sad because I know that I have this system for almost nine years old and many games already don't run on it, like Assassin's Creed Origins and The Crew 2. So many Ubisoft games don't really run on my desktop anymore because of that instruction set, the SSE 4.1 or something that don't allow me to play those games. But I wanted that PC to hold on until the next year, because next year I will buy a new system. But the thing is, what about now? How I'm going to benchmark my HD 7850? So, I was really sad, and because of that I lost my entire motivation to continue to benchmark. Uh, I got home multiple days, I didn't want to benchmark my laptop, I didn't want to game on my desktop because it would crash out of nowhere in no time. So I just was really sad with this and thanks to my friends, I have two friends, one is Filippi and another one is a rock. And both of them are some good friends that actually brought a Fanon 2 X4 at the time. And they no longer use the, their Fanon 2s, their motherboards, their RAMs, they no longer use any of it. And so a friend of mine, thank you rock, seriously. Lend me not only his motherboard but his CPU and his RAM. Okay, so what it's going to, to be different in the results comparing to my old system? Well, my Fanon 2X4945 was at stock at 3.0 GHz, and I have it 
overclocked to 3.6, okay? In this CPU, which my friend of mine lent me, it's a Fanon 2 X4 965. It is more powerful. It is clocked at 3.4, but I'm not going to overclock it. So what happens is probably it's going to end up to be a little bit more slower than my Fanon 2 with overclock, which I use it on the videos. But probably you won't be noticing a thing, okay? So the performance comparing to my old system will be pretty much equivalent. The motherboard, it is a high-end motherboard. It's no longer a mainstream motherboard, which I had. Uh, comparing to my old one, I noticed some issues with that. My microphone, it is... I'm not, I'm not really sure it's not working properly. I, I pretty much need to shout to the microphone in order for, for you to hear on the videos. So I'm not really sure what the hell is happening with that. Uh, but apart from that, performance-wise, it is the same compared to the old ones. And the RAMs, despite are not the same, they are the same 8GB of RAM, clock at that 1333. So performance compared to the old system will be pretty much the same. Probably it's going to be just a little bit thing of a hair, a lot more slower. But essentially it will be the same. But I'm really sad because uh, it was thanks to that PC, thanks to my fan and Sue, that um, I started to buy games. And by now, after almost nine years of using that PC, uh, many things change in my life. So, and that PC was always present. Every time I reached my home and I wanted to play something, I could do it during nine years. And that was insane. That, that is insane, because I never expected to have a PC for so much time. I was expecting that CPU to last something like 5 years, but it turns out that I almost doubled the time of its existence. And despite, like I said, some games didn't run already, most of the games were playable. And that was quite surprising for me. And it, the poem is not the CPU, it's the motherboard. The motherboard was the one that it died, okay? Uh, so, anyway, it was great moments. It was because of that PC that I started to buy games. I buy more than 300 games on Steam. It was because of that PC that this YouTube channel exists. Okay, not because of my laptop. And it was because of this PC that I have... I don't know, I have, I have so much memory, some good memories about it. Because it wasn't really expensive. I brought it in the middle life of the PS3 and I could kill any PS3 or any Xbox at the time and it's still gone through the entire PS4 generation pretty much because it was a good value, okay? It was an insane CPU and I'm very very sad because Jesus, oh so great memories related to that PC, you know? But anyway, thanks to two of my friends especially one of them we are going to continue to have benchmarks and now you ask so what what are my plans uh, am i going to use this landed pc forever no my plan is for the next year i will upgrade to a new system i'm not really sure what i'm going to get yet i'm planning to get something like probably something mainstream like a ryzen 5 or an e5 from the newer generation 16 gigabytes of ram an ssd to store the games so my benchmarks uh, are going to be on an ssd when i upgrade so i have great plans okay but one of the things that i'm not too keen to spend money on it it's on a graphic card so this means that either i'm going to remain with my hd save 700 and 7850 or I'm just going to sell it and use the AMD Ryzen APU. Yes, I know that the Ryzen APU is more slower than my graphic card, but that damn thing is so compelling and so interesting to benchmark that I could sell my graphic card and use the APU as my main gaming um, graphic card to play games. Because I've been playing old games, okay? Despite that benchmark newer games, I have been playing really old games. And so I do like a lot what I play. And uh, I would get a, a better graphic card later, you know, when PS4 or a new Xbox comes out, because I want to be more or less at the same performance as the consoles. People will call me peasant or something. I don't care at all, to be honest. I just want to play games. I don't care if I get better performance or better graphics than the consoles. Well, I do get the. I, I do care a little bit, okay? But I'm not really an eye-hand guy, and so I'm pretty sure that most of the people 
prefer to buy budgets or mainstream PCs because most of the people just want to play and um, not all the people have all the money in the world and despite I have some money I have some priorities where to spend than on the PC okay so guys I think that's all that I want to talk about these little chats hope you did enjoy it I hope I just wanted to do this because I wanted you to know what really happened and for you to not be scared when you saw new PC specs on the description of the videos on the desktop and thanks to the my friends thanks to the friends of mine that lent me this PC I'm really happy because I I'm not really sure if I would continue to benchmark even my laptop because my motivation was really down there because I wasn't really expecting this and now thanks to them I can continue to benchmark for you guys, I found my motivation back and you can expect benchmarks coming out on the next days of the F1 2018 V-Rally 4 and Jurassic World and who knows more, okay? I have a ton of benchmarks, a lot of motivation on my own to deliver the benchmarks just like the usual thing that I've been done lately, okay guys? So thanks to my friends, I can continue my work and thanks to you, I will continue. Okay, guys, thank a lot for watching, and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Thank a lot.